Hello everyone and welcome back to W Breaks. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Lego Star Wars The Emperor's Throne Room Diorama set. This set costs $100 here in the United States and it has 807 pieces. I think this might be the greatest diorama set of all time. Make sure to leave a comment down below about what you think. Let's get started right away in this awesome Lego Star Wars review. First of all, taking a look at the box art, of course, it looks terrific. It's got that amazing diorama style. There's your Luke Skywalker minifigure there on the top. Here we go on the back. Yes, once again, we do have the dumb thumb tabs. These need to go away. Come on. You've got some pretty cool pictures up there of the scene and how you can recreate that in Lego. And then it looks pretty cool there on the side with the Emperor in his chair. All right, looks good. Let's get right into the minifigures. First one up here is probably the least exciting, and it is just Darth Vader. I assume that you have a Darth Vader by now, but if not, this is a great way to get him. This is a terrific figure, beautiful arm printing. Uh, I think this helmet mold is really great, and a lot of people don't like it. He does come with the soft cape here. Looks like it looks great. I mean, no complaints on Darth Vader. Here is the face print underneath. Good face print. All in all, a great figure. I mean, Darth Vader is basically perfect at this point. All right, next up here, we've got the new Emperor figure for here in 2023. And I think the torso and the legs looks pretty, you know, standard. But the face print there is where we're seeing the new stuff. And if we take a closer look at that here, you see that he doesn't actually have, like, the black pupils in his eye, which looks kind of weird. Same, there's the back print. And here's a soft cape in the back printing, if you want to see that as well. But I feel like this face is just a little strange. It's just missing something in the eyes. I don't mind it. I think it is cool, but, you know, I don't know. Next up is the Luke Skywalker minifigure here, and he looks absolutely amazing. The brand new face print. The torso um, is new updated. There are some, you know, it's basically the same as the old one, but it is updated. There is the face print for you, and there you see kind of there's some new crisper lines there on the back of the torso. Not much change, just a little bit. But all in all, this is a great looking figure. The hairpiece was 100% needed, and the update looks terrific. Looks way, way better. Uh, this figure is definitely worth it alone in this set. Amazing figure. All right, and here we are with the diorama itself. And I think the first thing that you'll notice here is the 40th anniversary logo kind of blocking the view. Don't get me wrong, it is a great print. It's a great piece. But if you don't like it up there blocking the view, you can move it off to the side or put it up there, whatever you like. Next up is we've got the printed tile piece down there, the I am a Jedi like my father before me. And then as you notice here, we've got some chrome pieces on the side, which are super cool. These little blue thingies, I forget what they're called in universe, but they look good here. They're just a little undersized for the minifigure. They should be bigger. And then the tiling is terrific here on the floor and around this window look how smooth that window is it is gorgeous come on that is awesome fantastic job lego you have captured this perfectly this chair which actually we'll talk about the chair here in a second we'll we'll have a little section for that in its own self if we move it around to the side here you can see the little supports that luke stands underneath and then we move around to the back here and you can see the full extent of this window because it is fabulous look at it now this little clear thing is actually just the clear window is held in and then the windows are kind of wrapped around it it's it's a really cool building technique you'd have to build it for yourself to understand it super cool super cool amazing job lego i mean I, i'm speechless amazing job lego you nailed it next up is the chair here and what i want to say is this is the best chair i've ever seen in lego come on this thing in comparison to the universe looks Gorgeous. And I just rewatched the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, and there is purple on it. Like, they nailed this. This is amazing. Here, I've added the figures on so you can see what this set looks like with the minifigures attached. And it really adds so much. Come on, they look so cool up there displayed. Now, you've got two studs up top and two studs down bottom. But the problem is, is the two studs on bottom are a little bit closer to each other than the two open ones on top. So you can't really get your minifigures positioned properly. Like, you'll see here, I've got a problem adding, like, Luke on over here because Darth Vader extends too far. And then it'll be the same way. Darth Vader kind of gets knocked over. It's just... It's just, they kind of lean, they kind of bend. It's just not a really comfortable fit there. But if you move them up to the top area, it is a very comfortable fit and looks gorgeous. I mean, come on, that looks terrific there. All right, now here we are at the end of the video, and I don't really want to sit here and talk about the price for this set. The $100 is definitely worth it. It's an amazing set. What I do want to talk about is why I think a lot of Star Wars fans get irritated. This set is fabulous. 
Now, why can't they put this amount of care and concern into every clone set, every prequel set? Because we get so many little flaws in those sets, yet we get a set like this where it is perfect. I, there is not a thing I could change in this set to make it better. I think this set is 100% perfect. I mean, maybe add the pupils to Emperor Palpatine's face, but not a, that, is, that literally means nothing. This is a perfect set. $100, it is 100% worth it. I just, I wish we got the same care put into our prequel sets that we do into these original trilogy sets because this one, and I'm going to show off the Executor Super Star Destroyer soon, they're flawless. They're flawless. They are amazing sets that I don't even know how you could possibly make better. Thank you all for watching this. If you liked, make sure to like and subscribe to help support the channel, and I'll see you all later on W Breaks. Ah!